Hello guys, welcome on board Ocean for Life, the place for boating, fishing and free diving. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ivan, consider subscribing if you're a saltwater junkie like me. Today I'm going to be trying out a cheap fishing kit that cost me about 30 euros and see if it's worth anything. It contains a fishing rod, the reel and the fishing line and uh, I'm going to be going down to the ocean front and seeing if I can uh, do some action with this and do some casting and uh, if it will be responsive enough to get far enough out with, uh, with my uh, hooks. I guess they have not heard about plastic ocean because uh, this was hideous, the amount of plastic for, uh, for uh, one fishing rod. So don't tell me you need an expensive boat to go and have a nice experience. This is absolutely beautiful. Today I'm going to be trying this one first. It's a 40 gram hook and uh, it would normally be used for fishing uh, salmon in the ocean. But I don't have a whole lot of hooks here, I forgot them in the boat. So uh, I will use what I have and see how I go. It's going to move around quite a bit in the water, going, uh, creating a lot of motion. Gold one side, silver the other. So what's my hope for a cheap fishing rod like this? It's actually not very much. Um, actually, the rod seems to be better than the reel. The reel feels like a piece of shit, to be honest. Uh, but uh, with careful use, maybe it will last a while. Seems like the rod is a bit sensitive. So uh, the upper limit on, on this rod was 50 grams. I have 40 right now, so I shouldn't be using much more than this. I can already see it's bending a lot just by holding the weight. The rod is actually quite re responsive. The reel is a different story, but uh, this is a kit that I'm going to be able to use. Fishing uh, mackerel and stuff like that, it will definitely work. I got one thing to say about this. Uh, I'm not using a life jacket and uh, it's something that uh, you need to think about when you're fishing by the shoreline. Most drownings they don't happen from the boats, they happen from people on uh, bayside docks along the shore like this. Uh, right now it's easy to get back out of the water, there is no swell and uh, I'm not gonna have a hard time getting back out. I can't fall and kick my head on some hard edges or something like that. I'm fine and safer. But if you're out fishing by the swell, if there's a steep wall hard to get up, use a life jacket. So what do you say? Do you need a fancy expensive boat? It's just to get out here and do it. This is paradise and I uh, brought with me coffee. I might make a little fire and sit and chill. Beautiful. a bad option to boating. I'm having myself a fire. If I caught fish like I planned, I would have been able to barbecue it, bring a cup of coffee, and uh, you have no worries. You're not drifting anywhere. You're not uh, having to be thinking about anything about the boat. It's just hang out, enjoy the good weather, and uh, take it easy.
seeking shelter from the rain. I'm gonna have to give my 30 euro kit a thumbs up. It's been okay for this small fishing. Not for big, catching big fish, but for catching small fish and doing what I'm doing here, it's uh, totally okay. It's been a great trip and beautiful scenery, nice weather for the most of it until the end now. So this is something that uh, I definitely do again. Take care guys and see you next time. Mm -hmm.